Hey, so what's going on guys? So I have another video tutorial here I wanted to share it with all of you on how to transfer or save your iPhone voicemails to a Windows computer. I'm using a Windows 10 computer for this video and what this is going to allow you guys to do is download each of your voicemail messages off of your iPhone and save them to your Windows computer as an actual file for safekeeping or forever whatever you guys want to do with them. So let's get started. What you want to do is get your iPhone connected to your computer, open up iTunes and let it back up and do all that good stuff. And then you'll have the little icon here at the top left that says iPhone. Go ahead and click that. Pull the slider all the way down to the bottom so you're in the section where it says on my device. Now I'm going to bring up the iPhone. I'm going to show you how easy uh, this is to do this. And what we want to do is just be in the voicemail screen here where your voicemails are. Go ahead and select a voicemail and right above my finger you're going to see a little box with that little arrow. You just want to press that and you'll get some selections here. Now you want to choose the one that says voice memo. Okay, that just saved that voicemail as an actual voice memo. And then I'm going to move on to the next one. I'm only going to do three of them so we can get through this video and you guys will get the idea. Again, press that little box with the arrow and then select voice memo. And then I'll do one more. So that's what you want to do. You want to repeatedly go down through all your voicemails and save them as a voice memo. And once you get that done, all you need to do is come back over to iTunes here and click Sync. And down here on the lower left, it's going to create a new playlist called Voice Memos. And it's only coming up with this authorized and don't authorize uh, dialogue because I don't have the phone actually authorized to my computer right now because I don't want to copy my sister's music over. So if I pull the slider down, you can see now it did create this voice memo thing. And here are the voicemails uh, under this voice memos playlist. Now, one thing here, guys, right, I want to show you real quick is in the music folder, since these are ACC files, you're going to see them in here listed as well. There's the three voicemails. So jump back to voice uh, memos there. And one thing you're going to need to do is probably click sync a couple of times. That's going to create the actual files down here and it's going to put them in the correct uh, format. Like it's going to give you the date and the time. So what you're going to see is I'm going to click sync again and then these three are going to disappear. Um, you might have to click sync, say, two or three times, and it'll get them in the correct order here. But once you get that far and you have them kind of straightened out there and you're where you need to be, you can go back to your music folder and you can see now it correctly fixed them. So this is where we wanted to be. Now here's the cool thing about this. If we go in, what you want to do now is go into, go onto your computer and go into your music folder. And then you want to go into your iTunes folder. So let me find my iTunes folder here in all the music that I really don't listen to anymore. There's my iTunes folder, so you want to double click that. Go into your iTunes media folder. You're going to see this newly created folder here called Voice Memos. And if you double click that, there are your three voicemails that you just copied off your phone, the actual file. So if you double click, you can hear that that is some sort of spam voicemail or whatever. But what I'm going to do is highlight all of these and choose to copy them and I am going to actually go on to my desktop here show you how easy this is create a new folder and I'm just gonna name that uh, voicemails or you could name it iPhone voicemails I'm gonna go in there right click and paste my voicemails in there so this is really awesome because there are your voicemails all safe and sound on your Windows computer now you can go back on your iPhone and delete those individual voicemails if you would like. So that is basically, that's pretty easy to do, guys. That's all I have for you. If you guys like this video, please go down there and click the like button and share this video with your friends. Thanks, guys. See ya.